Finding assets that are free is easy, but finding ones that actually look good is another story. So if you're looking for high quality mountains or trees that you can use in Blender or Unreal Engine, this video is for you. A few years ago, a crew of VFX students who worked on a movie named Alter 49 released two really exciting asset packs. A terrain pack that includes 24 different mountains and a pro forest bundle including 9 trees and 8 bushes. Now you might say, this doesn't look free, but it is. For a 100% discount, go to their Facebook page, copy this part and add it to the Gumroad URL like this. Once downloaded, you are greeted with not only the models, but also a nice PDF with an overview of the assets as well as instructions. If you're using Blender, stay right here. If you want to know how to use the assets in Unreal, skip to the next chapter. The mountains don't come as 3D meshes. What you get is a height map that you can use as a displacement map. Add a plane and subdivide it. Personally, I prefer more geometry, but that depends on your needs. The more faces, the better the quality. Now add a displace modifier. Click new, go to your texture properties and open the height map of your choice. Turn down the strength and there you go. If it looks weird like this, set the coordinates to UV instead of local. Also don't forget to shade it smooth. The mountains also come with high quality normal maps as well as slope and convex maps that you can use for texturing. If you only want to use them in the background, I've made a tutorial about using image textures for quick and dirty results. For a more professional approach, I highly recommend this tutorial from CG Geek. Links to the tutorials in the description below. To add the trees, import the models into Blender and yes, unfortunately you have to import the textures manually. But using the Node Wrangler add-on, all you have to do is hit Ctrl Shift T, find your textures and Blender does the rest for you. Once you've imported and textured all your models, think about marking them as an asset so you can use them in future projects by just dragging and dropping them into your scene. If you want to use these assets in Unreal, there are a few things to consider. You can either use the height maps to make a mesh in Blender and import that into Unreal, or you can use the built-in landscape tool. The trees come in two variations, high and mid-poly, even though I think mid-poly is fairly high-poly, which is the reason I use only them. Import the trees and put them into your scene. Unfortunately, one tree is made up of five meshes. Before we merge them into one, import the textures and make the materials. One material for bark, two for branches and one for the needles. To make sure the needles look right, set the blend mode to masked and the shading model to two-sided foliage. Once you've made all the materials, select all the meshes of the tree and turn them into one mesh using the Merge Actor tool. Now the trees are fairly high poly, so to optimize performance either activate Nanite or create LODs, which you can do right inside Unreal. I really love these trees compared to other free trees you can find on the Unreal Marketplace. They are a bit tough to set up, but once you've done it, I think they look really, really good. If you like free assets, check out the video in the description. And if you want to know more about how I set up the lighting for this scene, check out this video right here.